so out on Big Frank today. First time in, blimey, probably three weeks. Now I've got the two new bikes, he is getting neglected a bit. And I was seriously umming and ahhing about whether to tax him. Um, so I've done six months, 30 quid. <laughs> 30 quid. You can drive a car for a year for 40 quid tax. 30 quid for a little 600. It doesn't even have a passenger seat. <laughs> Insulting, isn't it? It's not like they fix the roads these days either, is it? Dodgy old patchwork quilts they make of it. Look at it. Look. Just lump of tarmac stuffed in. First bit of shit weather you get. Out it peels. Still, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, out on Big Frank today. Give him a trip round. I think the MOT's due soon as well. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to check up on that. So I've got plans for him. If I can get the incentive to get back out the shed, which is proving really difficult these days. Once I'm out there, I'm all right. You know, I could quite happily be out there five, six hours, not a problem. But getting out there and starting, that's the problem. But then, probably when the bad weather comes on and can't actually get out on the bikes, um, it'll give me more incentive. Yeah, at the moment, as I say, because of the new bikes, it's um, Big Frank's getting neglected a little bit. So at the moment, I'm just giving him a slow ride, give him um, plenty of chance to warm up, fluids around the circuit and all the rest of it. and thrash his shit out of him. And see, this is what you need on a Sunday morning. A prat like me, with a noisy exhaust. Down your little street. So yeah, as I say, I've got plans, so as soon as I get the incentive to get out there and start, I'll go and squash the cyclist. Um, you'll probably see some videos of it. Um, the other thing is some, well, bad news, really. Um, there's a police force in the southeast of the country. Um, nobody's claimed this news or anything at the moment, but um, yeah, southwest, south. Start that again, shall I? A southeast police authority has started asking for dash cam footage. Um, well, it's, it's not a new thing. that they, They've used dash cam footage for prosecution of dangerous driving for quite a while now. But the new one is they can do the dash cam footage and um, 
new techniques are allowing them to work out your speed. Now, it, it always used to be, you know, they could work it out from the speed of the lines anyway, to some degree, as long as they had fixed points and all the rest of it. But dash cam footage, because that vehicle was moving, the dash cam's not calibrated, blah, 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 blah. Um, it wasn't always able to be 100% accurate. But now they're claiming they can be 100% accurate. And um, yeah, it's really bad news. <laughs> really, oh nice, I ate. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Um, yeah, really bad news, I think. It's, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of loonies out there. I don't put myself in that classification. I don't do massive dangerous speeds. Um, that was one of the reasons I've downsized the CC of of my motorbikes. You know, I had the, I had the 1250, the 1300 Cruiser, um, especially the 1250. I mean, that that was just that was just so quiet at speed at big speed you know three figures plus you know it, it just no wind buffer in because of the fairing and everything and it was it was dangerous there was times when you look down and you think bloody hell and and back off um so yeah part of the reason i got rid of those was because of that factor and now i think i'm enjoying motorcycling a lot more being that I've got to use the gears and everything, um, plan things a lot more in advance, and uh, it has, it's definitely helped reduce the speeds that I do. Especially with my commuting and stuff like that, you know, that was, that was getting silly. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely feel as though I've made the right decision there and as I say, really am enjoying it. I've just spent a weekend up in the Peak District on my V-Strom, which was brilliant. Um, you might have seen some videos or you'll get videos after this one, I don't know yet. I've got to edit it all, which doesn't take me too long to be fair because I don't put my heart and soul into edit editing. I just you know, I'll do what I do and I'll put it out there. Um, but yes, definitely bad news. So, when you're doing your overtakes and all the rest of it, perhaps bear that in mind. Dash cam footage can have you, because you know the do-gooders and the, the keyboard warriors and all the rest of it, once they start hearing about the news, they'll be out in force. Well, not promoting it. What's it called? It'd be a bit of entrapment going on, wouldn't it? A bit of playing with their brake lights and all the rest of it to to get you to overtake. But then, how much dash cam footage is is going to be put in if you overtake on a sixty and you're doing seventy five? It might have been that instance, you know, you might have been for 10 seconds you was doing 75 while you did the overtake. Um, and that's all it's shown. Will they show footage of you then slowing back down to 60 and getting on with your life? You know, it's so open to interpretation. It's, uh, it's nasty. It is nasty. But um, there you go, the warning's there spread the word use the information how you want and um, definitely ride safe 